It can happen to anyone, at any time in their life. It can kill, it can disable, and it attacks in an instant. It's the third biggest killer after heart disease and all of the cancers put together. It's devastating for patients, it's devastating for their families. It's increasing because of the increasing age of the population. And it has a devastating social and economic impact as well. Clearly this is something that we need to overcome by developing new therapies. What can be done to curb this growing epidemic of stroke? Strokes already kill more than 5 million people in the world each year and leave another 5 million disabled. The most common type occurs when a blood clot blocks an artery in the brain. And as populations age, many more people are at risk. If you live to 75 or over, you're nine times more likely to have one. And people are living longer because medical science now means they can survive diseases like high blood pressure, diabetes and heart disease. Ironically, being a survivor of these diseases makes a stroke more rather than less likely. Braving the cold European winter, Dr Alex van Tulliken is trying to discover what makes stroke such a serious problem.